quick presentation on the different types of physiological shock and a quick definition of physiological shock being the failure to perfuse organ systems secondary to a fall in mean arterial blood pressure. Important to think about cardiac output, which is heart rate times stroke volume. That's because mean arterial blood pressure equals cardiac output times total peripheral resistance. You can see that cardiac output is in both equations and that means we can think about mean arterial blood pressure as heart rate times stroke volume times total peripheral resistance. Now there's three types of physiological shocks that can cause that fall in mean arterial blood pressure. Hypovolemic shock, which does this through a drop in stroke volume. Distributive shock does this through a drop in total peripheral resistance primarily. And cardiogenic shock does this through a drop in heart rate and or stroke volume. It's also thought of as a pump failure. Clinical consideration to think about is in the ITU management of shock. Uh, when they start looking past fluids in the management of shock, uh, for a patient who might not be getting hemodynamically stable. They could look at uh, inotropes and chronotropes in cardiogenic shock and in distributive shock they could start looking at vasopressors. So that concludes a quick presentation on different types of physiological shock.